G'day ladies and gents and welcome back to Mags TV and welcome to something a little bit different today. This video is actually a bit of a request from those of you who have been following me on social media and following me on Discord and um, checking out the community section here on YouTube and um, have been commenting on some of the artworks and digital paintings that I've been posting recently. Um, I've had quite a number of requests pop through to do a time lapse of me doing one of these paintings, so that's exactly what I'm doing here. So I should probably explain to you the rules of these paintings. So this is not something that I'm making to sell, it's not something that I'm really making to show off, it's probably going to go into the portfolio, but it's only going to go into the portfolio because pretty much everything will. Um, there's nothing particularly special or any particular reason for this painting. This is just how I start my mornings on any given day that I'm going to actually do any kind of design work or um, illustration, drawing, anything at all. And it's, this is essentially what you're watching is my morning stretches. So my rules are very simple. I have one hour maximum, and I set that on a clock. From the time that I start to the time that I finish, I have one hour to complete the image. This took 45 minutes. You can actually see the um, the computer clock on the bottom right-hand corner. It's about 45, maybe 46 minutes to complete this one. It took the almost exactly the same length as one of the episodes in Season 4 of The Expanse, which has just come out on Amazon, because I, I love that show. I thought we almost lost it when uh, Sci-Fi managed to, to fuck it up, but, but we got it back. And um, it's just been released, and it's entirely worth it. If you like sci-fi, you really need to go and check that out. But anyways, <laughs> getting back to this. It took about that long. I give myself about an hour to do one of these. I don't plan out or do any pre-drawing or pre-sketching or anything for the image. It's just I set myself, a, I've got a canvas size that I have set. As a default, I load it up, and I paint something. And I give myself, you know, an hour to do it. Sometimes what I produce is shit, sometimes what I produce is merely okay. I would say this is probably in the merely okay category. I wasn't entirely sure where I was going to start, I just started painting mountains, and I've been playing around a little bit trying to learn snow recently, and how to actually paint snow, which is um, which might sound really silly, but it's actually quite difficult to do when you don't have a frame of reference. I'm from Australia, I've never seen snow before. There's like two places in the country where it actually snows, and it only snows for like two to three weeks of the year. And most of the time we need to actually run machines to actually artificially create the snow. And I've never been to either of those places. I've never seen real snow in my entire life. I've seen heavy frosts. I've seen ice all over shit in, you know, in the middle of winter when it, the temperature just drops that cold that everything freezes. But no actual snow. So I don't have a frame of reference for what snow looks like in for real outside of you know photographs. So it's been interesting to learn that. Um, so this was my first experimenting, uh, first uh, bit of experimenting around with how to try and get snow appearing on sort of a mountain peak that doesn't, isn't completely snow capped, as well as what you'll see here in just a moment, a little bit of uh, snow ahead of a, a dark forest. The, the whole point of the image that I sort of come out with on the fly was a mountain with the sun rising behind it, a little bit of light bouncing off the peaks, a little bit of light bouncing off the clouds, but the sun is rising behind the mountains. The forest on this side of it is still dark, but it has some nice white snow ahead of it. I, I'm still not 100% on this image, but again, I don't have a frame of reference for this. And it's all good practice. And, and the, the basic goal, as I said, is just to really stretch and get myself you know, in the right headspace for more important stuff that I want to do later. I've actually got a couple of designs that I'm working on at the moment. Some of you may have seen some of the uh, still work in progress uh, sections that I'm working for. I'm doing two designs for an F-16 at the moment, um, both working on a similar theme, including an actual Falcon in the design, and kind of referencing the bird against the aircraft. I'm, I'm still playing around with a couple of them. One, one I've only released a rough sketch for on Discord. The other one got posted on both the YouTube community section and on Twitter, I think. I put both of those up. But yeah, both of those are intended to be t-shirt designs. I've, I've already run into the issue where if I'm going to do anything digital painting, I need to keep it separate from the t-shirt designs because digital paintings don't work as t-shirt designs and t-shirt designs will often not work as poster print 
display pieces, or at least not in the same context. You've got to change them around a little bit. So I, I'm working in two different areas here, but I am looking to do a couple more digital paintings. There's two designs in particular that I'm looking at at the moment. One is a bit of a World War II story. I actually want to do something Eastern Front involving tanks. I've got a bit of an image inside of my head at the moment for um, almost a bit of a story piece, a... German Panzer III or maybe a Panzer IV, you know, something, something fairly common for the, for the Eastern Front that's been destroyed in a Russian forest. Um, and usually probably destroyed at some point before the, um, the Russian winter set in during the initial advance when Germany was actually making gains, but they, of course, had losses as well. But then the image itself I want to do as if six months, eight months later, when the Russian winter has set in, so you have a broken Panzer IV or Panzer III that's completely covered in snow with icicles dripping from the parts of its frame that it's been smashed and from the barrel, and the forest itself is covered in snow, but still has bits and pieces of the signs of the battle that took place. It just just a bit of a, an environment piece that I think could look could look nice. I, I haven't started on it yet. I have, I've done the rough sketches for layout, just a bit of line work. I've actually do most of my line work uh, sketches on uh, pencil and paper still. You know, it's just pull out a grey lead, pull out a little book, uh, do a rough sketch on exactly what I'm thinking of the layout and everything else, and then I just use that as a guide when I start doing the digital paintings, when I'm trying to do something that's a little bit more elaborate than what I'm doing here. Um, so that's one that I'm looking at doing. The other one I haven't done any sketching for yet, but... I keep watching the, oh, keep checking out the the images that are coming out of New South Wales for the fires that have been going on up there, and you know I remember Black Saturday and all the bullshit that went on, and all the major Australian bushfires that have been through, and the the, the it's really crap, and there's a lot of things about it that piss me off. In particular, um, in particular the fires. I don't know if the rest of the world realise that most Australian firefighters they're not actually employed they're all volunteers very few are actually you know employed professional firefighters so you've got a bunch of people that are volunteering themselves that are running into hellscapes absolute hellscapes and it pisses me off to no end so i, I sort of want to do something about the fireies and something about the new south wales bushfires um i'm not entirely sure what i'm going to do there just yet but if I do that painting that's definitely one that I'll want to pop up on the channel as something that's uh, not necessarily related to the content on the channel but it's, you should be expecting a little bit of that too I'm probably going to be branching out away from um, especially next year away from just doing military related stuff I actually want to do some um, some stuff for cars and um, just just things that are inside of my head and start putting them into image form which I'm hoping will, uh, I'm hoping it'll be stuff that you guys like anyway. But the fireies are definitely something that I would like to, to do something for because, well, go and take a look at some of the photos of the fireies fighting the bushfires up in New South Wales. It is impossible to look at those photos and not feel massive amounts of respect for those guys, especially once you consider that almost all of those guys are volunteers. Almost every single one of them up there trying to save people's lives and save people's houses, they're volunteers. But yeah, anyways, this is just about come to a close. So I'm just doing the last of the fine details here to finish it off. As I said, this isn't probably the best painting I've ever done, but I do one of these every morning that I'm going to be doing uh, designs. So these are... Yeah, there's, there's quite a few of these that I haven't even bothered showing off. This is where the, the F-18 one... The F-18 flying over the um, the the valley that uh, I've been getting a few requests to actually make available to buy um, actually came from. It was just a speed painting like this as well. And if you see me ever mention on social media or the rest that it's a speed painting, this is where it's come out of. It's no pre-plan, one hour, get it done, and then go on to the other designs that I'm doing, which take quite a bit longer. And, well, I should have a few more of those to show off fairly soon as well. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you very much for watching. 
Um, I do have one other piece of information here. The video releases have been pretty spotty for the last couple of days, and they're likely to continue being spotty for at least the next couple of days, uh, out to Tuesday, possibly Wednesday next week. Uh, there's essentially maintenance being done on my net connection, uh, well, actually, the net connection for everybody in my area, which is supposed to improve the quality and the speed. What's actually likely going to happen is my net's basically going to get ruined for a week, cause me no end of problems, and I'm going to see no noticeable improvement whatsoever, just like the other 10 times that they've done this. But uh, I am trying to get videos up in the gaps where the net is actually up as much as I can, but um, I can't guarantee when they're going to be getting up because I'm getting, you know, 9, 10, 11 hours a day where I just have no functioning internet. So, yeah, that's the only other thing to add. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know in the comments section down below what you think, and until next time, remember to click that like button if you did, share and subscribe if you want to see more, check out the merch store, check out the displate store, and as always, take care.